That's a joke. We've all seen what you've been up to. We're doing the next bit on location. You'll see why when you get there. Turn around when it is safe to do so. yards you will arrive at your destination. Ford, that most American of cars. But the Ford Escort, oh that's British. And more than that, the Escort would become for many synonymous with Group B. In the 70s, Ford had embraced that destiny so firmly that they'd begun their own championships to find new drivers. Drivers for cars like the RS1800. This was a car designed explicitly for rallying with a powerful fuel-injected 1790cc Cosworth BDE engine. Homologation rules required that all cars entered into the group be production, so Ford built 200 of them. The RS1800 raced to victory after victory across the rallying world, on almost every continent and across every terrain type imaginable. This car was basically unbeatable. The RS1800 brought home 17 World Rally Championship victories for Ford. So, of course, Ford set out to design a better one. The RS200 Evolution was their answer. A purpose-built rally car designed to do one thing, win Group B. With a 1.8 turbocharged Ford Cosworth BDT engine and all-wheel drive, the RS200 had perhaps the best suspension platform of any car of its era. The chassis was fiberglass from Reliant, and the massive Ford parts bin was raided to give the car that iconic look. But while the car had potential, turbo lag at low RPM and a poor power-to-weight ratio meant that it never placed better than third. The end of Group B in the mid-80s meant the end of the RS200 as a rallying car. Fortunately, Ford built over 200 as part of the homologation requirements for Group B, so you can still find them, if you're lucky.